Hi guys, so I'm back to do another book look video. I know it's been a while since I've sent one out, but I've been really busy here in the library. So probably about a week and a half ago, I got a big order of books in and I'm going to go through some of those new books with you. And the ones I want to go through with you today are books that are part of a series. So these are the newest installments, are the newest titles from these series. The first one I want to show you is titled Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. And this is part of his Ark of a Scythe series. Um, book one is just called Scythe. Book two, which is the one I'm showing you, is called Thunderhead. So the story continues. Neil Schusterman books are always kind of different, bizarre, um, and they're good for people that maybe kind of aren't necessarily fans of horror, but they kind of like books that are very unique um, and perhaps a little creepy. So if you are interested in any of that, you should check out some Neil Schusterman books. We have a lot of them here. The other one, I want to show you kind of goes along with the creepy bizarre theme. This book is titled A Map of Days and it is by Ransom Riggs. It is book four in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Pe Peculiar <laughs> Children's series. Um, so book four of that. I think it is definitely the biggest book so far in that series. It's pretty thick. So if you are a fan of the Miss Peregrine books, you should come check this out. Our next one that I wanna show you here is called Rebound by Kwame Alexander. This is actually a prequel to his um, first book called The Crossover. So uh, in the crossover, the two main characters are Jordan and Josh. And in the rebound, it is actually, it kind of goes back and it is about Jordan and Josh's dad. So it kind of gives you some more of the family history and a look at what happens in their lives before the crossover. So if you are a fan of Kwame Alexander, if you're kind of a reluctant reader, um, if you like books about sports, or if you've read the crossover and you genuinely liked it, then you should come check out Rebound. Our next one here is a favorite of all time. This is the newest Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. This came out sometime in October. Uh, I just now got it. So this is actually Diary of a Wimpy Kid number 13. It's titled The Meltdown, and you know it's by Jeff Kenny. So I actually already read this because I love these and I can read them really quickly. And it is pretty funny. There are some really good moments in this. And I kind of feel like Jeff Kenny is really making a push to kind of have his books grow up a little bit with his readers. I felt like there were a few more like mature moments or comments um, by Greg in this. So... It's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Meltdown, number 13. Uh, the cover is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a purple ombre. And he's already had a purple book, so I keep waiting for him to do a color that he hasn't had. I really want him to have a pink cover. So maybe number 14 will have a pink cover. But we have four copies of this, so if you're interested, come and check this out. Or if you need a laugh or a quick book. Um, our next one that I'm going to show you here is called Augie and Me, Three Wonder Stories. This is actually a story collection book. So there are three short stories inside of it. And these stories all relate to students from Wonder and how their relationship with Augie came about. Um, the three characters from Wonder that you, prob you probably remember, um, we have Julian, Christopher and Charlotte are the three who give their own take in this collection of stories. So this is called Augie and Me. Next, I have a book titled Wild Card 
by Marie Lu. This is book two of her Warcross series. Um, so I always think that the Warcross series, it kind of reminds me of um, the Insignia series, which I've had a lot of people check out and really, really like. It's definitely for people that like to read books that have action and gaming and the internet in them. So this is book two, wild card. Book one is called Warcross, but they're both by Marie Lu, and they are very good. I have two more. So this next one is called In Over Their Heads. This is by Margaret Peterson Haddix, popular writer. A lot of her books get checked out frequently in here. And this is book number two, and the final book, because it's only going to be a two book series, of her Under Their Skin series. So Under Their Skin is book one. Our new one here is book two, In Over Their Heads, and this brings it all to a wrap. It's only going to be a book two series, okay? And then the last one, I'm going, yeah, last one I'm going to show you. Um, so this is The Unwanted's Quests Dragon Bones. This is book two of The Unwanted's Quests by Lisa McMahon. Um, so if you have read The Unwanted's and you really like that series, she does have The Unwanted's Quests. We've had book one since last year, and we just now got Dragon Bones book two here. Um, very fantasy. All of her books are kind of about the same size, like a nice, nice medium. Um, so if you are a person that really likes to read fantasy and adventure, you might want to check out Lisa McMahon. And so those are the ones I'm going to show you today. I will try to do another video here soon of some of the standalone books that I purchased for you guys. We also have a few new graphic novels, um, a few new nonfiction books. Most of those are on, I got some endangered animals. I also got the Guinness Book of World Records book for 2019, but I'm not going to put those books out until I do a book look video because I like to put the new books out just a few at a time. Otherwise I set them all out and then the first class that comes in gets them all and that's just kind of not fair. So I try to do this to give everybody an opportunity. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else library related I need to go over with you guys. Keep collecting box tops. I will turn those in again in April. The first order that I sent in for October was around $90. So I'd like to try and increase that because that's more books for you guys. Each book that I buy is about 15 bucks. So the more box tops, the more books. Um, I drew a name for the November Library Challenge this morning and I started December's challenge, which is Christmas Trivia. It's on paper and you do it here in the library. So if you are interested in doing that, make sure you get teacher permission, bring something to write with, and it'll probably take you about five to 10 minutes. Um, other than that, I can't think of a whole lot. Oh, our new printer has finally arrived and is installed in the lab. I just have to kind of do a test print with it and make sure that it's hooked up and running correctly. So come check out the new books, come and do the December library challenge, and I will see you guys later. Bye.